Trevor and I are loaded up. We got a bunch of gas seat up there. We're gonna have a pretty stiff headwind the whole way. And there's gas I stashed up there. Bear's probably ripped it up, so we got a bunch of gas to hopefully do a little flying around once we get up there. And sheep season opens in two days. We're hoping to tag out and back. We got five days to hunt. So Tana and Justin got the moose down in five days. Two big bulls traveling. I got two big bears in five days. We want a good record. Trevor and I get two big rams in five days. We'll be holding steady. Cubs loaded up to max gross weight of 2,300 pounds. We got all the gas we Trevor got about 1,000 pounds or a little bit more in there. So we just saw a ram up on that hill over there, so we're going to try and get a better look at it here. Just landed here on this nice little gravel rock runway. Right there in the middle. Just a Standing little on a rock. Just a little dude. So that one. He looks like about a three quarter girl. It's way. Up there. yeah. There's one of his buddies, and then he is right down there. Got tent all set up, and the cubs tied down good with wing covers on so it won't blow away. Got the bear fence on and the Kuyu tent ready to rip. Had a little harder than normal landing um, coming into these rocks. Thought it was kind of hit the tail, but we didn't. We just you get all the brakes with bush wheels, it throws rocks up in the tail. It's kind of part of doing business. But look under here. It's supposed to look like this. Quarter panel. It looks like this. So, I'm gonna put a little av gas on it. This is a certified bush repair job. Clear Gorilla Tape is money. Or duct tape. And this will, basically Super Cub is just bed sheets wrapped around a steel tubing structure of Chrome Molly 4130 steel. But uh, this tape will last on there until I can get back and do a real patch on it or realistically till after hunting season. <laughs> Be a good winter project. What are we about to go do? We're about to go try to find some rams. Uh, got up this morning, a little bit frosty. About 28 degrees out is what it said in the airplane. Definitely a little bit cold, but we're ready to try to go find some sheep. We have great weather. Opening day. Opening morning, got our first ram spotted. Trevor's getting the spotting scope set up. We're gonna be doing this a lot, I figure, but Got a ram way up here below a band of rocks, and if it's a nice one, he's in a good spot to stock. So we're gonna get a look. So we've got two rams spotted over here in the head end of that canyon. Uh, they both look like pretty good ones, so we need to get a little bit of a closer look, but we're gonna have to sneak in on this side of the canyon, hopefully, kind of keep them out of sight until we pop around the corner and try to get a better look at them.
because he's decent, but we're sheep hunting today. Maybe on the last day we can kill him. And then there's a grizzly. Sow down here are two cubs. We're gonna have to try to avoid. Status update, we have gotten closer, probably within two miles of these rams. One of them looks pretty nice, we think he's legal. The other one we're not sure yet, but we're kind of glassing right into the sun. <clears throat> we have perfect weather, as you can see, but we would appreciate a fog bank or something to roll in so we could stock these rams, because they're looking right down the creek we need to come up. So we're gonna cut back, go through some brush, and then try and get on the this cut bank side of this creek and be in the shade and out of sight and try and get even closer and see if we can get a better look at the rams. The two big rams spotted up here. The one that we know is full curl bedded in a really, really bad spot. Um, unstockable, but he just stood up, so you can see him right here. Let's see if we can get in on one of these things. That one on the left, I think that one's full curl. The other one on the right side, his left horn's broken. We're not sure his right horn might have a little bit of lamb tip. If both horns are broken, these are both gonna die. We're only a mile away. Oh, he's just gonna freaking right up there in bed. They're not on the move in a good spot. Not at all. They're not spooked. We got five days in here, so. We play it smart. This morning was easy. Walked right up a fucking creek bottom. Okay. So we're within 500 yards of these two rams. We think they're still bedded on the other side of these rocks. Trevor and I have this nice creek to go up and uh, we have good wind. It's blowing a little bit. We're at 500 yards right now. We want to get a little closer and uh, just get in a good spot so when these rams stand up to feed later on tonight, we can hopefully shoot them both. We're gonna work up this draw behind another knob and then belly crawl up to a vantage point, hopefully within about 400. Adam and Trevor got into position. Adam is the first one in line to shoot. I think he's close to it too. Tell me what you think. I think we need to shoot ASAP. I think so too. I don't know where he went. What, did it go to the bottom? He's going. So we just got a shot two rams here. They were both up on that cliff. Adams took a good diver off the cliff. Mine uh, took a good diver as well. It looks like they're both down, but we're gonna have to go down and check. There's Adams right there. 
Let's go find yours, Trevor. I'm and I promise it's steeper than it looks. It's a little bit bloody. It's a little bit of a tumble. Is he dead? Look at that. We got this one. We're going to cut it up, get it all caved out, and then uh, go over and get started on Adam. So ended up being an awesome hunt. We got both of these nice rams down. It took quite a tumble, um, as you can tell from some of the blood, but uh, that's what we have taxidermists for. They patch that stuff up. <laughs> it's pretty big. I mean, definitely over full curl. We think uh, at least nine, maybe ten years old, so smash. Can't beat that. Two rams. Even though Adam's a hardcore bush pilot, he's a little afraid of heights. So he sent Trevor down the cliff to roll his sheep down to the bottom. So there's Trevor down the slot. Very carefully managed to get my sheep to go all the way down to the bottom. Opening day, 2018, Alaska. Um, I'd never been sheep hunting before. Trevor's been for a few days. It's my first day and um, just came to a spot we thought looked good. We haven't been seeing many sheep and hardly any rams and spotted these two rams early this morning and made about a what, five mile stock on him. And uh, this one's double broomed. He's at least eight, maybe up to 10. He's got hard rings, hard to tell. Uh, shot him first, tried to drop him. I had a good shot on him, but he uh, he launched off a cliff and then down here. And uh, it's pretty gnarly. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have the ram here if it wasn't for Trevor. He had to scale down this little, this little sketchy slide back here. And uh, go push him off and two or three times and there's cliffs and everything. It was pretty dangerous, but said a few prayers and got her done. He a little banged up, but he's heavy. And I mean, I just can't ask for more. We doubled on opening day and it's pretty awesome. It's raining pretty hard now. We got Trevor's done and uh, gonna cut mine up, bone him out and about a five or six mile hike out in the dark to the airplane and sleep hard. Nice. What do you have to say for yourself? I'm a little bit tired. <laughs> Are you tired? Yeah. My eyes were closing as I was walking. Nice. Turn your headlamp off. Let me get a look at that ramp. Trevor's off-brand backpack didn't hold up as he planned. So, it's 5.48. It's about the time we got up and got going this last morning, I guess this morning, or... It's all kind of a blur. But here we are. Made it back to camp. Barely. Barely. Two nice rams. Do it yourself. And we're gonna pound some serious food. We are soaked. I put all my dry clothes on that were still a little bit wet. And we are gonna sleep for hours. And weather's forecasted to be IFR for the next few days. Hopefully I can get out of here. But now the fog's rolling in. Uh, August 11th, we're both pretty sore, um, but we're fortunate we got it done opening day. Um, Super Cup doesn't haul that much. We got a shorter strip here. We stepped it off, it's about 600 feet. Um, we could maybe make it out in one trip, but maybe in airplanes aren't good. So when in doubt, shuttle it out. So I'm gonna take Trevor, the sheep meat, and a bunch of gear to a bigger strip uh, a few miles away that we found and then come back get the rest of the stuff go pick Trevor up and we're gonna hopefully have good weather all the way home it looks good and calm winds and go get a burger Adam just shuttled me out with the meat and the ram heads and he's running back to grab all of our gear too small of a strip to 
to get all of it out on, so we found a little bit bigger one, and and we're gonna give it a shot. A little bit brushy though. I don't think anybody's landed in it for a while. Well, you can't just go down to South Hill Meats? No, nope. none of that up here in Alaska. We have to do things ourselves. <laughs> How's it look, Tana? Cabela's grinder's working pretty good. And we got... Catch Patty. Taste test going. Let's see how it's gonna look. A little house tour of all the killing. So where all the packing and repacking goes for all the hunting trips. Santa's moose. Make sure to subscribe for more stuck in our videos. Thank you for watching. Let's go home. Yeah.